it's about tradition and what I what I really know. I don't really seek anything else than my family. Since I'd already met Mondo and talked to him and had been emailing him so much, I was actually pretty much at ease because he's just like he was on the show. He was so easy to work with. He's very laid back and he's he works a lot like we do. So I really felt less pressure today than I did with some other shoots that we've had. I think that we got some amazing stuff. Um, I'm especially happy with some of the movement work that we got in some of the shots. The models were wonderful about just embracing the whole idea of jumping up in the air and not being able to see anything while wearing leather bodysuits. So uh, there's a certain amount of sensory deprivation and they just kind of went for it, which was really cool. I grew up playing the piano since I was eight years old and I had the opportunity to go to a performing arts school in Denver. And so I was a piano major. And unlike other high schools, it wasn't really about a popularity contest. It's really about who was the most talented and who really had the drive and who really wanted to go out and really show what they were made of. And, you know, being a piano major, it allowed me to really not showcase what I was wearing or what I was talking about. It was really about what I could accomplish through my music. And so I was, you know, I'm very grateful for that experience. They pretty much like let me kind of run around and be as goofy and creative and um, outside of the box as I possibly can. So I moved back to Denver um, and I was in a really low place. I didn't work for about a year and then finally I got the opportunity to work in a professional theater as a stitcher and you know it was a really it was a chance job for me because the uh, boss there saw my portfolio and it was all fashion it wasn't anything that I had sewn with my hands and you know that's the position I was working for but she really took you know a chance on me and I went in and she gave me this job to like flat pattern this crazy pattern. And from just watching my pattern maker in New York, I knew how to do it. I don't know how I needed to do it, but I finished it and it, I... In terms of what I've seen on the TV show and in terms of what he's uh, bringing to the table, it's all completely kind of just who he is. He's somebody who... Like I said, he's got this really relaxed way of working with you that um, makes you feel like you're you're not under the 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 gun, and the the, the expectation is that we're, you're both professionals and you're just going to create um, a beautiful image. Getting on Project Runway requires you to really not only be a designer, but also to build your looks. Um, and I think when I was in the theater, I kind of thought to myself, man, you know, I'm stuck in this basement, sewing day after day after day after day after day. And I think back to New York and how fabulous my life was and how much I was getting paid and I was creating fashion and how I love that energy. I love the competition, all that. When I called them, I was like, why was I cho chosen as an alternate? Of course they couldn't tell me, but they said I was number 16. So I was praying and hoping that somebody would break their neck or something and not be able to go to the show and I'd get in. But you know, I think, just like I said, I think everything happens for a reason. So I went, jumped back on the horse and uh, auditioned for season eight and the rest is kind of, I guess, history, right?